Hey, what is going on guys? It's Spirits here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a setup video. This is my setup behind me, my setup room and all that stuff. Uh, we'll start over here. We have my man Steve. He is waking up from his midday nap. This is my tour to Steve, guys. Uh, if you guys ever hear me talking to him when I'm walking out of the room, to the rest of the house, uh, this is Steve. This is who I'm talking to. Um, I've had him since he was hatchling. Uh, you know, he's a cool little pet to have. Big fan, big fan. Um, anyway, moving on over here. Light ring. This is my subwoofer right here for my sound system, for my just like listening to music and stuff. I have two speakers on the back end, three monitors, and then I have my Xbox and stuff over there, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, this is Alley Cat's old chair right here. This is Alley Cat's cat cam right there. And then when I sit down, this is what I see. So I have PC monitor, Xbox, PC, um, and then this is obviously my microphone. Uh, going into some of the hardware stuff, this is my Elite controller. This is what I use to play Fortnite. A lot of people ask me what controllers I use and what bindings and stuff. So I like the Elite controller for Fortnite. I don't do not like it for PUBG just because the paddles are so sensitive. I grew up playing on a scuff and the paddles are like really hard to push down. And obviously anybody that's used the Elite controller knows the paddles are awfully sensitive. So yeah, I use an Elite for Fortnite. Uh, I use a Control Freak Phantom on the right stick. That's what it looks like. Uh, I know the Elite controller comes with uh, larger sticks, but I still prefer the Control Freak. I've tried them. The cool thing about this Elite controller is that it actually has scuff paddles on it. If you guys can see that, it says Scuff Elite. So it has the Elite paddles. So just for comparison, that's what everyone knows what a normal Elite controller paddles look like. And then this is what a scuff paddle looks like. So they look exactly the same on the back. Uh, I don't use any special bindings really. I just use one as A, this one's as A, and this one is B. Uh, it's the same exact thing on my PUBG scuff. This is the scuff I use to play PUBG. Uh, this one's A and this one's B. I do not use the inner two, and I really only use it to jump. I never use it to crouch. Uh, again, Control Freak Phantom on the right stick is just what I'm used to. Uh, my microphone on my setup, I use a Blue Yeti. Um, I just got like the blue edition. It was the same price. I figured I'd get something a little different. Uh, I have a G502 or a Logitech G502, I think. I think that's what this mouse is. It doesn't matter. I can't play keyboard and mouse. I thought I'd try it once. I tried playing PUBG on the PC, and I'm just not good with keyboard and mouse. I'll stick to my controllers, um, which brings me, I have a Steel Series mouse pad. It's extra large. I don't know if you guys can see it. It goes from there to there. It's pretty long. I just like it because I actually use a table. I got this table at Walmart for like 30 bucks. It's like a six foot table. And then I got a little three foot table and I just kind of ran it all together. And that's how I get such a long setup because I couldn't find any wood desks for a decent price that I really thought would work well with my setup. And this way, if I break it, I can, you know, drill into it, tape stuff to it without ruin it, worry about ruining it. Um, again, I have the two speakers there. Here's my webcam. It's like a Logitech. C620 something or another. Uh, I can load up Streamlabs and let you guys see what I see. So like right when I open up Streamlabs, this is what I see. Obviously my green screen is gonna be wigging out a little bit because I got extra light coming in. But this is what I see on my end. I have my chat pop up here. I have, you know, my notifications that I get subscriber, donation, follow on Twitch, anything like that. And then this is what I see down here and you can switch the scenes. You can see it says like, be right back. Spiros, all that kind of stuff. Um, moving on to, oh yeah, everyone's always saying that here, keys clicking in my videos or whatever. It's probably because I'm typing on my keyboard. This keyboard only goes to my PC. It does not connect it to my Xbox. However, this keyboard is connected to my Xbox, which brings me over, this is my PS4, this is my Xbox One X. Uh, this keyboard is strictly for typing. It's plugged directly into the Xbox. There's no adapter, so you can't actually play keyboard and mouse on it. Uh, it's literally used for typing people's names uh, to get them in sub games faster, uh, which I haven't even been using it because it's all the way over there. It doesn't even reach to my desk. But a uh, wireless phone charger. This is my PC, Old Faithful. This thing's taped down because it is falling apart. These will fall out if I don't. I have an extra um, external hard drive thing, four terabyte. Uh, what else do I got here? I have Astro A40s. That's the headset I use. I get a lot of questions about that. Uh, this is just my PS4 scuff. I don't really play PS4 anymore. I just broke it out the other day because I want to try to play H1Z1, which I still might try again because Average Sniper was telling me it's pretty fun. 
Uh, this is my mix amp. So this is Astro A40 mix amp. I think it's the TR edition. It is right there. So this is how I get all my sound to and from my stream and from my game and all that stuff. So basically how the cord's going in and out of this because I have a lot of stuff plugged in here. Power cable to the mix amp. This brings the game sound from my Xbox into my mix amp. This middle one it goes is the stream port. So this takes the game sound and the party chat sound and sends it into my Elgato via 3.5 millimeter jack. And then um, it's basically just an aux cable. This is a ground loop isolator. I like this because depending on how your house is wired, if you have everything plugged into like a power strip or a few things, you might get like a ground loop hum. So this will take that out. So basically straight from the stream port over here to my HD60. Um, and you can see it's plugged in right on the top right. Uh, what else is there to show you guys? I think that might be it. Uh, if anybody wants a bargain green screen, you just go to Walmart. It is a green sheet. They sell it in the fabric section. I got this for $5.88 and I just tacked it to my wall. You could just tape it even if you wanted. I have some amazing artwork from my little cousin. Uh, American flag. This is this was my old desk. I used to have it as just like, um, I didn't have this little three foot extension. I just had six foot uh, desk. So I had two monitors and then I had one in the sky but I do not like using this desk. It is a pain, so I just ditched it and was like, you know, I'm done with it. Uh, but aside from that, that is pretty much my entire setup from what I could think to show you guys. Um, if there is, if you guys have any questions or want like more detailed how to set up your Astros to work with OBS or how to get it to work with Elgato, anything like that, just drop it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. I can make more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to the video. Make sure to drop a like on it. Sub to the channel if you're new around here. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one.